That was the third hunter in two weeks. I don't know about you, but I'm getting really worried. Scratch worried. Try scared. You say that everything's going to be fine, but how do you know that? We've already lost two members of the pack. They're not going to stop until all of us are dead. You don't know what you're talking about. You've never been afraid of death before. I don't understand it. You're so fearless. Don't judge me for being afraid. I've never had to face something like this before. I've only been wolfed out for about two months. And you expect me to fight a war? It's a war to me. I don't want to argue about this again. I feel like you don't understand my feelings about this. I'm literally risking my life every day to protect you. I know, I know, I know you do the same. But it doesn't... It doesn't feel like you understand how scared I am. It doesn't feel like you understand me at all. Not since I wolfed out. You fell in love with me as a human. And I agreed to become a werewolf to fit in with your family. Now I'm fighting my people for you. I know they're not my people anymore. I know that. I turned my back on them when I joined. But you've got to understand how this feels. I would do anything for you. Kill for you, die for you, whatever you need. I've proven that time and time again. But you've got to give a little here. You've got to show that you are at least trying to understand me. Come on. I really don't want to fight. I hate fighting with you. But you've got to listen. Just, just for once. Just listen to me. Alright, alright. I'm not going to let fear control me, but it will play a factor in my decision making whether I like it or not. I wasn't born like you. I'm not completely fearless. I don't know what to do with you sometimes. I just need a little bit of an effort from your part. I've completely given up my way of life for you. The least you could do is try to understand where I'm coming from. Humans aren't weak. You should know this better than anybody. You've been fighting them for how many years? They're not just stubborn. No, that's, that's not true. They're resilient, but please just... I'm not going to let you... Just stop, okay, please? I could say the exact same thing about werewolves. We think you're the monsters. We, the humans. You've killed hundreds of us. And maybe we've killed thousands of you. Maybe that's why you're endangered. Maybe that's why you fight so hard to protect our pack. See, I said our pack, because it's ours now, and they have to listen to me just as much as they listen to you. I have a different perspective on this. I was on the other side. You have to remember, my brother was killed by werewolves, and I still gave up everything to join your pack, because I saw the other side. I understood. It was in self-defense. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And I don't blame the humans either. There isn't a right or wrong here. It's just people protecting who they love. I'm protecting you, you're protecting me, the pack's protecting itself, but the humans are protecting themselves and their families too. You have to remember that. I know how you get when you're fighting them. You're out for blood, you push it too far. And I get you can't always control that. It really scares me when you get like that. I know I can't see it in myself, but 
but I'm sure I don't go that far. Because I can still see them as people. You just see them as prey. Or a threat. And they're not all that. And you're not all that. Maybe you'll never see that. Maybe the humans will never see what we are. But just for me, can you try? Please. I just want to know you understand. You're everything to me. I've given up everything for you. Nothing will ever change that. I don't want to go back. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. Look at me. I love you. I love this pack. I love being a werewolf. It's better than I ever could have dreamed. It's everything I want. You are everything I want. I love your dark side and your light side and every side in between. I'm just asking to be seen and understood. I'm asking you to hear me. Please. Okay. Let's stop fighting. We have hunters to track down and the rest of the pack to talk to. Your dad's probably wondering where we are. Report to the Alpha first, after all. Just promise me you'll think about it. For me? Okay. I'm not trying to change you, you know. I'm perfectly happy with you being the way you are, and you're wonderful. But there are two sides to this story. I'm not going to push it, I'm not going to argue, but there are, are two sides. Maddie's waving you over. Can you wait a minute? Can we finish this? I know, pack first. Pack first. You know, that was hard for me to get over. In human culture, it's your partner first. I'm working on it. I understand the instinct of the pack now that I have it, but... Again, it comes back to you seeing me. My background will always be different. I will always see things differently. That's why we work so well together. That's why we're perfect for each other. We balance each other out. But lately, ever since I wolfed out, it's like... It's like you forgot that I was human at all. That you think I'll act just like your brothers and sisters. And I won't. I might be a werewolf now, but I will never stop being part human. That part of me, maybe not physically, but deep down will always be there. You accepted me. When we got together, I accepted you for who you were, and you accepted me. Now, it's like you want me to throw that all out. And I can't. I've given up everything else for you, but I can't give up who I am. And if you ask that of me, I don't know what I'll do. So please don't. Don't ask that of me. Don't. Just go. They want you go. We can talk about this later. <laughs>